On Tuesday, we woke up to a couple elk right outside our cabin. We were very excited to finally get an up close encounter with some wildlife. Easy. That don't make it better. We also spotted a bull with a decent rack as we were leaving Jasper. We then hit the road again, back to Banff. We made a couple stops along the way, one being a lookout called Goats and Glaciers. Because of the name, we were hoping to spot some mountain goats, but we had no luck. We made another quick stop at a different part of the Columbia ice field, which again was super cold, so we didn't stay long, and then made another pit stop at Bow Lake. We also made a stop at Lake Louise. We spent more time there and Jesse gave me a bit of a tour of the chateau because he used to work there. Through the darkness of the night Hold your hand up to your heart I know it's just a chance to start I know that it might feel like it's too hard Our last quick stop was at a viewpoint of Castle Mountain. Time to watch, grab a hand and make this day our march. Pulling down the walls we cross, fighting through the wars we lost. Looking for the day when we have won. Whoa. 
our last day in Banff, we did a little shopping in the local shops and then went down to the Bow River to see the little waterfall. The next day we would be heading back to Calgary to spend the night with Jesse's uncle and get ready to catch our flight home the next morning. So, Jesse and I are now back from our trip out west. It was such a great time and it just felt so amazing to travel again. After a couple years of the pandemic and not traveling, uh, it just was so great. So happy to be reunited with Conan. Luckily, my parents looked after him and he loves them and they actually spent a mixture of time at our place and then time at their house. So uh, Conan mostly got to actually stay in his own home and then my mom was kind enough to like take care of all my plants because I have a lot. <laughs> it was such a perfect mixture of exploring and seeing the sights and then also spending time with friends and family like you saw, I have family in Kelowna and it was so great to spend some time with them. Jesse actually used to live out west. He he moved to Banff with some friends and so some of those friends are still there, plus friends that he met when he lived there. So it was so awesome to just spend time with them. And one of his friends have two little boys and they both play hockey. So we got to go to some of their hockey games, which was just really fun and adorable to watch and it was just great. I've never been out west in the winter. I'd only been out in the summer so even though we didn't pack warm enough clothes to do a lot of stuff outside it was just so awesome to be in the mountains in the winter time. The scenery was gorgeous and then Jesse has an uncle who lives in Calgary so we got to spend a day with him and then he was kind enough to let us crash at his place so that we would be fairly close to the airport for our early flight out the next morning. So such an awesome trip. Quickly, just a couple things that I got, a couple souvenirs. I got these awesome little wood cutout animals that have a scenery all like cut out of wood in the middle. So I got this bear and then not really an animal, but I got a Sasquatch too. Mainly because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. Like the Sasquatch was awesome, but I also really liked the bear and Jesse's vote was the Sasquatch. And I kind of wanted the bear, so then I just ended up getting both. There was also some awesome other ones. They had a moose. Uh, I think they had a fish, just so many, but done by local artists, so it was all about that. And then there was an art gallery right in Banff and there was a photography exhibition and I love photography and it was like a wildlife exhibition. So again, all over that. And so I ended up coming home with a print. You will see why I could not leave this behind. But the photographer's name is Jason Bantle and his wildlife photography is phenomenal. Yeah, so it is a raccoon who found a abandoned car and like somehow managed to like get through into the car through this hole. This was the only way in. And the story of this photograph is like there's actually that's a mother and she had baby raccoons in there and they were safe from coyotes and other predators because the predators couldn't get at them when they were in the car. And so Love it. I do plan on like eventually getting a frame and maybe hanging it somewhere, but obsessed with that. And then because I always have to get something for Conan, I got him this little stuffed bear. I got this in Jasper. He's actually the mascot of Jasper. It's a little black bear named Jasper. There's a large statue of Jasper the bear in downtown Jasper. So when I saw this guy, I was just like, yes, he's, he's perfect to bring home for Conan. So that is going to conclude this little vacation vlog series. Uh, we've got some exciting things coming up. So 
stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will see you next weekend.